Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do a blind tasting of three of what many people consider to be the best quads in the world to figure out which one stands out, at least based on my taste. Today, we are looking at Rochefort 10, of course, a fan favorite by many. Uh, St. Bernardus 12, which, you know, you guys, of course, know this one. And the one, the only recently released in the U.S., let's letter in 12. Um, all quads. Two of them are Trappist, one of them is an Abbey Ale. Many people consider these to be the best you know, quads in the world. Sure, there's other ones, but these are the big three that many people consider to kind of set the bar. So I'm going to do a blind tasting of this. I'm going to have my lovely assistant over there pour these into glasses without me knowing. I'm going to reveal what they are at the end after I've tasted each one and kind of made my choice. So with that said, let's get them into a glass so you guys know how they smell, taste, and do the final verdicts on Westy, St. Bernardist, and Rochefort. All right, so all three beers have been poured for me. I, again, had no knowledge of what was being poured in each class. They're labeled, obviously, A, B, and C. The beers are right here. Answers are in my back pocket. Again, I have not looked at them. I don't know what they are. Um, Appearance-wise, they all look almost exactly the same. Uh, a and C are a little cloudy. B is definitely a little bit clearer. Uh, let's get the aroma on these. Typical quad, dark cherry, big, big dark fruits in this one. I'm getting a lot of raisin juice type qualities. Wow, B is definitely different. Um, uh, it smells a lot more like a chocolate covered cherry, like a cherry cordial. Um, a little bit of dark chocolate, a lot of cherry juice in this one. It's very, it's very, almost like a, a chocolate cherry stout almost without the roastiness. A little bit of sweetness, definitely some dark fruit in that one. C is really interesting. Um, there's kind of a almost a hop component to it, like a little bit of like a, a lemony citrus kind of flavor. Definitely a little bit of dark fruit in this one. Not quite as raisin forward as these two. Not much as dark fruit. A little bit of sweetness in there, a little bit of cinnamon, maybe a little bit of spiciness. Yeah, very, very different. I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting them to all smell really similar, but they don't. Um, as far as aroma, I gotta give it to C. I like the aroma on that one the best. So let's get into the taste. All right, A. Well, again, very classic quad notes. Big, big dark fruit on this one. A little bit of spiciness, sweet, sugary kind of flavors. Very, 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 very classic. Number, letter B. Wow, very interesting. Um, Again, more dark fruits, uh, but it seems to pop a little more, a little bit brighter. I should mention all three beers, age-wise, are about the same age. Um, definitely getting some figs, a little bit of raisin on this one. Not nearly as sweet as A. Definitely a little bit more muted in the uh, dark fruit you know, qualities of this beer, but definitely some more kind of sugary sweetness to this one. Maybe a little bit of spiciness, a little bit of heat on uh, B as well. Definitely different than A. And let her see. Cheers. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Um, perfect balance between spiciness and dark fruits on this one. Again, more of a cherry, uh, cordial type of flavor. A little bit of like a citrusy, lemony kind of accent in C as well. Playing off that dark fruit, sugary sweetness. Uh, a little bit of brown sugar in there. You know, the, all these beers are between about 10 and 11.5%. You don't taste the alcohol in all of them. I think B definitely has a little bit of warming quality to it. I taste the alcohol the most in B. So let me just go through these again just to kind of get my thoughts. I think I have it down, but I just want to make sure. I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, for me, the winner is absolutely C. Um, then B, then A. I think C just has this kind of really bright... It's almost refreshing, um, like, like a hop characteristic, but at the same time, it has those quad notes that you really want. Um, it's very well balanced. You don't taste the alcohol at all. B, I think, uh, is a little bit more subtle in the flavor, but it's got a nice sweet, sugary breadiness that I want in a quad. And I think A um, is just straight up, you know, exactly what you would expect from a quad, where I think C and B really kind of set the bar a little bit higher. So let me get the answers out here. I don't know. I think I think A is definitely St. Bernardus 12, but I'm not sure about C and B. If I had to guess, A is St. Bernardus, B I would think is probably Rochefort 10, and C um, is probably Westy 12. And I'm only basing that on because I've had these beers, uh, you know, a couple times. I've had Westy 12 a couple times, and it's tasted different each time. And I've never had a beer that tasted like this. That's what I'm basing it on. So let's see. 
All right, A, yep, A is St. Bernard is 12. Ah, B is Westy 12, I wouldn't have guessed that. And C, Rochefort 10. So I gotta tell you, for me, the winner is definitely Rochefort 10. That's very interesting. Um, but to taste these three beers, A and B, which are you know Westy, uh, Westy 12 and St. Bernardus 12, they taste very similar. I actually think the Westy 12 actually has less flavor than the St. Bernardus 12 as far as quad goes. So very interesting stuff. Um, Rochefort 10 is very easily available. Um, wow, really surprised, really surprised by that. That's, this Rochefort 10 is tasting really, really good. So I'm gonna go uh, finish these off and have some of my, uh, let, let my helper over here have some as well. So with that said, guys, hope this clears some things up, maybe uh, opens some minds a little bit. I'm, I'm a little surprised myself. I'm gonna be, be doing a you know straight up review on West D12, but it's really good to kind of have these uh, this perspective. So the winner, between Rochefort 10, West D12, and St. Bernardus 12 is Rochefort 10. So with that said, guys, remember life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.